everybody. Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. If, if you're new. Or if you're old. Check out this french fry. Beautiful golden brown with the skin on. Perfectly salted. A little bit sweet. Mm. I repeat. Mm -hmm. If you guys want fries like that, hit up your city barbecue. Chris, no. Take them or I'm going to finish them. I bought them in a cup holder. <laughs> Didn't mm. have to tell him twice, y'all point out. Yeah. So I tried their wings. Mm -hmm. Even Is Bonnie if, right about them? Even if you don't dip them, they're still pretty dang good. I ended up not dipping them because they only gave us one dip. Oh, they screwed up. Oh, well. They are smoked wings that they then fry. They smoke them, then fry them. Bonnie said that they were like the best ribs ever, or ribs, best wings ever. Mom's got ribs on the brain. Mm -hmm. Chris was eating ribs in the back seat, starving me to death. Sorry. You ought to be. <laughs> they smell so uh. good. They were. Oh, I'll eat anything as long as it's barbecue, man. Barbecue, an old tennis shoe, and I'll probably eat it. I'm not proud. And I got me a... This isn't quite a battery, but it's also not a regular tall boy. That's 19.2 ounces of... Oh, yeah! Okay. So, <laughs> tell where we went today. Other than the city? Yeah. Well, we now know Christopher's secret. Where he's been hiding all the bodies. Har har. That's not. That way he could actually have something hit the floor when they start saying, Let the bodies hit the floor. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm being nuts. Can you tell? Uh-huh. We're never going to get out of this light. Just, yeah, this is going to be a 17 hour long video uh, of us sitting at this freaking light. Not a 17 hour. These videos actually cap at 12. All right, then we'll have to do a part two. Are you happy now? Go <sighs> where we went. We went over to. They know Wrestlefer goes to all our friends, right? Right. Yeah, we went over to their new site. Brand new building. And they got a heck, a hell of a lot of land. Dude, it's going to be so nice when they get it landscaped. They have this huge backyard area. And Chris says they're mm. going to play kickball out there. And it, I mean it, it's freaking huge. And I suggest that they make a Mario Kart racetrack. Yeah, that would be fun. And she's like, I would do that. I would. I would sign up for that. <laughs> I think I might have corrupted them. Maybe a little. Inside, it reminds me of the last place they had, only bigger. Yeah. If you know what I mean. It, it's very nice. It's all new and it's lots of windows. I think they might have made a bit of a mistake putting that many windows in the gymnasium. But, you but know. But whatever. Yeah. We don't design things. So, we who are we? We walked in there and it was like, oh... 80 degrees because of the windows. And apparently they don't have air con working at the moment. Or they it just don't have really. it on. So, okay, Ben, what did you think was the coolest thing? Well, that thing was actually so big you could get lost in it. But that's not the thing. You know the computer lab they have in there? I knew you were going to say that. That's one of the things. They have a nice computer lab. It's such a shame that they're sticking with the Windows platform as opposed to the much more secure Mac OS, but a lot of the people here are more familiar with Windows than they are with Mac OS, so I guess that's why they stuck with it. And some people have learning disabilities, and it would be hard for them to learn a new system. Yeah. Even though Mac OS is so easy to learn and Caveman could do it, I can see why you'd say that. What's your favorite part of the building, Chris? Hey. How big the whole place is, much bigger. 
I, I wasn't exactly done, you toe-eyed cabbage. What? You know about their sensory room? I was going to mention that, yeah. Or as I've been calling it consistently for most of the trip, the sense room. They had several smart devices in there that, quite frankly, make me judge myself about whether or not I'm even in the correct time period. Let me take a second to interject. Bonnie, no. Bonnie you know the bubble wall that they have at our um, nail, nail salon? They have it in the sensory room. And they have it so they can change the colors on it and people can just sit and watch it or swing and watch it and just relax. And I told them, I said, I, I watch ours at the nail salon. <laughs> I do watch it. But anyway, go ahead. You want to know one thing I did not expect? At all? What? I literally had a negative 1% chance of being able to expect that they would actually set up a little projector screen pointed at the floor uh -huh. that you would then step on. It has a sensor pad. Yeah. So... They have several games set up to be playable with your foot. And guess what game they decided to demo for this? Aliens versus Scientists? Is that what it was called? I think it was called something like that. But it was a game where you basically have a hexagonal style board. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to step on as many aliens as you can before your foot eventually wanders and hits a scientist. It's kind of fun. It reminded me of Whack-A-Mole meets Hexen. I even stepped on an alien, or three. Yep. But I thought the swings were really <clears throat> cool. They were, and <laughs> he suggested the spring. Uh, that was probably not a good idea. Oh, and by the way, it is really responsive, that particular floor screen. Hopefully you didn't kill it jumping on it. Oh, it was still going when I actually jumped. Because after I jumped, I stepped oh, on a couple there. more. Then I jumped back. Okay, we're not there yet, honey. Oh, I thought we were. Sorry. Nope. Did I remind you? In the time? background. Oh, yeah, plenty of time. In the background, you can hear Gristle for a mom tripping over themselves. But anyway, yeah, I jumped on it towards the back of the thing and was able to land a pretty sick blow to whatever aliens were popping up. They explode when you step on them, by the way. Stepped on a couple more, and I jumped back, caught some more on the back swing, so to speak. And what did it remind me of? There were some aliens that would occasionally spark in such a way that they sent out a cross shape, you know, a bolt going vertically and a bolt going horizontally from where they were, which reminded her of Star Gems from Bejeweled. Mm -hmm. It did remind me a little bit of Bejeweled. But anyway, they had these swings hanging in the room. And one was just like a great big round circle that you could lay down and curl up in and swing softly. Mm -hmm. And the other one was like a big rope egg shaped swing with a uh, cushion in the bottom and Ben tried that one out and so I told the dude who what's his name Brian I told Brian I said you know what you what my kids would do is put a big spring between the chain and that <laughs> chair and then they'd be bouncing off the walls and he's like ooh that's a good idea <laughs> I'm like, no, it isn't. I didn't try the dark one, but I'm pretty sure it would be very similar. The only difference yeah, is that... that, like, bottom of your bed, like, tall bed, mm -hmm. you'll sink down in. Yeah. I was going to say, so I'm pretty sure it would be similar to the one I did try. Remember that wicker egg chair we had out in the tree on McBride? Oh, it was something like that, huh? Yeah, that one had a spring. And... How bouncy were we from it? Not very. It was What's very so stiff. It's me getting my lemonade. Here, buddy. Oh, and find the card too, Chris. I think you have it. 
Yeah, I have it, but give me a Bon side. Bonnie graciously offered to buy me a lemonade. Hi, are you gonna be using Wendy's rewards today? No, thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine, thanks. Could I please get a large natural lemonade? All right, anything else for you? No, that's it. All right, that'll be three eighty-four. I wonder thank you. There you go. Now, if they try to tell me I ordered a medium again, here. She's so gonna. I've got it on tape. Yeah. This place She's going to have it on tape. Anyway, Bon Bon just sent me a message two minutes ago asking if her food's going to be warm or if she's going to need microwavable it should supply. should still be warm. I'll put it in back or it will still be warm. It made sense in my head. I'm sending her a reply. should be warm. I mean, am I wrong? Nope. I never am. <laughs> har har. Somebody, somebody's a little bit conceited. I wonder where I got that from. Honey, I'm not conceited. I'm convinced. <laughs> I'm still Thank laughing you. at Ben. You too. Mm -hmm. I got it from Gristlefer. That's who I got it from. I'm not that conceited. He is. Oh, by the way, the sense room at their new site is accessible by all sides, be they blue or be they green, because it's a bigger room than the previous sense room they had. Oh, tell them about the kitchen. What kitchen? It was a restaurant. First off, I've never seen that many microwaves in one place in my life. Yeah. But they weren't all microwaves, were they? Some of Five them were, of them were microwaves. The rest were, were toaster, toaster ovens. ovens. They do little light cooking skills classes. So Nowhere they, near Hell's Kitchen, but so come on. So they need stuff to get warm. Have a nice refrigerator, which I would like to have that refrigerator. Now what they did not have out was stove top type hot plate. Oh, those are burners. Nice. Yeah, I used to have one of those back in the day. I even poked around and looked at what was in the fridge, but I didn't touch anything because I'm a good boy. And I found out that somebody there apparently likes their Pepsi with wild cherry in it. Okay, give your brother the phone so he can record while you run in and get a bottle of distilled water. All right, Gristlefer, see how I got this? If yeah. your food needs Be a little careful. zap in the microwave, Bonnie, I'm sorry. I'm just doing the best I can. Okay, then try to hurry, okay? I don't have a card. Give him the card, Chris. Get in the card now. I can catch Ben's face from here. He's like, oh, a ghosty. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, that blanket you got me? Excuse me while I go into the Walgreens and then when it comes out, we walk. It is the softest thing. I woke myself up petting my blanket. Not my dog. My blanket is that soft. And she got it on clearance sale over at Meyer too. Yeah. So, what are you guys doing the rest of this week? Not well, much. Iron cooking skills. That's about it. Yeah. I ordered mine minus the jelly, but I don't know if I'd like what they're cooking. Of what? It's like grilled cheese, but it's grilled PB and J. Okay, no. I can understand the, the the idea of it because you guys like peanut butter on toast. Mm-hmm. But it would just be so much easier just to toast the bread and put peanut butter on it than to try to grill it. Well, we're grilling it with butter, peanut butter, and jelly. I don't know if the peanut butter and jelly is going to be added on later or whatnot. Or not cooked. But I just ordered mine with just straight up peanut butter. I don't blame you. Because I do not like jelly. I like jelly but not like that i like it like on toast or like with a biscuit it's really good i'm particular about my jelly seedless black raspberry jelly by the way is the best in the world Just they got seeded blackberry jam and strawberry jam oh grandma's on a jelly kick right now isn't she yep Mom does that, and you know what? That's where I get it from, because I do the same damn thing. I'll get on a kick of eating one food, like 
right now mom is eating jelly she's like jelly on her sandwiches you know whatever she's also on a cheese sandwich kick too and she's on a cheese sandwich kick not the same she doesn't put jelly on her cheese sandwiches i know people that do so i thought i'd point that out and like i'll get in a kick where i want peanut or peanut butter where i want cheese and crackers don't i yeah i want ritz or townhouse depends on my mood and extra sharp cheddar and then sometimes I'll even buy a little packet of salami to chop it and put it on there. It's really All I'm good. getting is the back of this chair. That's okay. It's really good, though. What do you get on a kick for, Chris? I haven't had a kick in a long time. He went pretty hog wild on, um, oh, what the hell is it called? Beef jerky there for a while. Yep. And he bought enough potato chips. To stock a school lunch room the other day. Yeah. I'm down to four bags and it took me a week to get down to four brother. bags. He's moonwalking. He's dork walking. Don't forget to unlock the car so I can put it in the trunk. Thank you. I said I'd catch his face. That's why he's moonwalking. I moonwalk. You did something. Yeah, I was moonwalking. So Christopher wouldn't shoot my face. He's a goofball. How do you switch cameras? Uh, oh, I'm going to act for that one. Okay, now we got to go to the bank. Hold on to it. Oh, I forgot about the bank. I still got to buckle up or else this thing's going to bleep. You're the one that told me I needed to go to the bank. Yep. Okay. I forgot already after telling you. Guess what they had right where they had the distilled water. I don't know. Boca well weighs above it, and they have the box of Gator Light as opposed to pre-made. Hmm. Or as I like to call it, the Gator Light converter. You basically convert regular ass water into it. Was well, Gator Light Pedialyte, but Gatorade branded? No. I don't know what Gator. I think it is like Pedialyte. Gator Light is it's Electrolyte. It is essentially Gatorade, but with more emphasis on electrolytes. Okay, Ben. She said $20. Correct. What's our time looking like? 1740 summons counting. I guess we better finish up. You got anything you want to add, Chris? Not quote-wise, but I did have something else to add. Okay, what? The tour went amazingly well today. Mm -hmm. I think I did a pretty good job of being a tour guide. Yes, he did. Oh, and we got to see, what's her name? Who? The dog. Oh, Annabelle. We got to see Annabelle. Not named after the doll. She's just a doggy. Yeah. And I think she runs the place. I think she's the boss. She's Ryan's dog, right? Right. And she's a trained service dog, too. She's a rock star. She really is cute. It was funny. She, they were all sitting around talking and everything. She got bored. She went over there and laid down in the corridor. She said, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. They ain't petting the dog. I'm leaving. Yeah. I got sniffed by the dude because he apparently thought I smelled like something. It smelled like it. Wolfie. She sniffed me pretty good up my right leg, too. I guess the dude didn't like the smell because it didn't stick around long. So do you have anything you want to add, buddy? Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's right. That's right. What? Like this video if you would like to hear a price point that I would like to put out for gristle fur. Comment on this video if you would like to buy gristle fur. Anyway, it was very nice. I didn't film any for the video because of privacy issues, but it's a very nice site. It was really cool to get to go and eat cauliflower because I like raw cauliflower. I had popcorn because I'm a normal person. Yeah, raw cauliflower is better than popcorn. <laughs> What's the matter? She just telling the truth. She's not normal. Okay, thank you guys for fair, joining us. Either. Come see us on Friday. Yep. Again, this week is flying.
We've had something going on every day this week, and I am tired. Uh, yeah, come see us Friday. We'll see what's going on then. It'll probably be something new and entertaining. So uh, take care of yourselves. Enjoy this mild winter weather that we are. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.